Hey y'all, we're back, and uh, like I promised, part two. Okay, um, I've got, oh, I'm sorry, you don't want to see me, you want to see the engine. So here we go. I've got this side ready for the rocker shaft assembly. I've got all the push rods in. Uh, this side is uh, all torqued down, basically ready to go. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this rocker shaft over here. So, let's see. Can I get this angle down here where y'all can see what I'm doing? Or maybe it's better if you're right here. Yeah, that's better. Like so. Okay. All right. Like I said before, you have a notch all on the end, not on both ends, but a notch on one end of your rocker shaft. Pay attention to that. That's very, very, very important. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's the rocker shaft that doesn't have a hole drilled in it. So what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to put a little bit of white grease in these. And it's basically each cylinder gets a left, a left, and a right. Do not be intimidated by this. It's not that hard. And also, too, do not be... Uh, intimidated or feel foolish because you don't know the actual orientation okay uh, happens to all of us okay because if you take the engine apart and then like much later you you're like going back to get to put it together it's like wait a minute how did this all come apart yeah you see what i'm talking about Next is, I got a right, I got a left, actually I need to reverse this, so I'll just take the left off, put it on back here, okay, pretty simple stuff, um, you know, if you do get them wrong, you know, check your, check your alignment, make sure you get things correct. Okay, so um, use some type of engine assembly grease. I'm using the uh, Luber plate number 105. Some people don't like that. I do. Works good for me. All right, I think you pretty much get the gist of what's going on here. I'm going to pause the video. I'll pick right back up, okay? Show you some more. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to put some lubricant on the, the break-in lubricant on the tips of those push rod tips here. And get those ready. And there we go. All right. Got the rocker shaft assembled here. And so you see I'm how I'm doing this. I'm just 
flipping these over and putting these down, lining the bolts up. Okay, I'm not even starting the bolts at this stage, at this point. Right now, I want to check for alignment of everything. Okay, I want to check for alignment of all of the rocker arm tips. They're all looking pretty darn good, to be honest. I'm liking this. So, well, let's see what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, we want to do a, a general looky-loo. Let me get the light here. We want to check our push rods. How close are they to the push rod guide holes? Now, some of them, you can't really be real real hardcore about this particular look here right now because you're going to want to go back and uh, look at these when once they're torqued down see like this side here so we can see you know, we can see this side here is a little close but it's not bad yeah, and then trying to like illustrate this so that you can see all of this pretty well. Yeah. Okay, so you see, now also too, we're going to look right here. We're going to look at the tips. This is looking pretty good to me. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. So, I think we're ready to go ahead and run these down here. All right. So, I'll get the speed handle and I will run those down. And with the socket, get those run down. I'll tell you what. I mean, I'm just running these down with a speed handle. I don't think you need a, like a bird's eye view of that. But I'll tell you what. Oh, um, here's a good reason why you should have multiple manuals. Look in the Chilton Guide Manual. No torque specs listed for the rocker shaft. Look in the Haynes 71 through 91 torque specifications rocker arm shaft bracket bolts 25 foot pounds. So there we go. Good reason to keep on keep plenty of manuals around. I'm gonna sit you all right up here. All right, there we go. That's a pretty good view. Run these down real quick. Well, I better get the bolt started in the hole first. That might be a good good uh, place to start, might it? Now, also, too, like I've been preaching, the notch is on this rocker shaft. is on the front, and on this one, it's on the back. So, all right. We got them started. Let's run them down. Now, you want to check, as you're doing this, you want to check and make sure that everything is lining up. Nothing is in a tremendous bind. Okay. Now be aware you will be opening valves because the cam lobe is at different places right now. Go back over some of them, just snug them up. Okay. You're not trying to torque them down here. 
and then when you torque them down they go to 25 foot pounds not 125 but 25 okay now, i know you see this really nice torque wrench and you're thinking man i'll never afford be able to afford anything like that well uh just keep your eyes open at the uh at your local uh pawn shops and stuff like that also Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, that sort of thing. Don't be afraid. Yeah, just keep your eyes open in those places. You'll find stuff like this. Okay. When you're doing this again you just want to keep your eyes open listen and make sure that you're looking for anything that is basically not the way it's supposed to be some of these rock push rods are going to be loose some of them are not reason why your, some of your lifters are on the base circle of the cam mode, while some rocker are, rockers are not. Okay, they're on the, they're on, they're not on the base circle. All right, one more little thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of break-in lube in here. on each rocker arm. There we go. That's looking pretty good to me. Okay, um, now, I want to thank you, you all, I want to thank you all for over 240 subscribers. It's amazing, and I am really blown away by that. It really blows my mind because there's over 200 of you all that wants to listen to this stuff and you want to learn this stuff which to me is really super cool and me talking to you here i just thought of something probably need to put a little bit of lubricant right here i know the rock arms i had here were lubricated right there these probably aren't so anyway so it really makes me happy that you all want to do that, you know. So I thank you so much. And I'm really serious about that. It's about providing you all with good quality content and information. I'm not one of these people that wants to do silly stuff and, you know, senseless, mindless stuff. Now, yes, I do. From time to time, I will be dropping videos that are not in the garage where I'm working on something. Sometimes they're going to be out here on the road when I, where I'm maybe vacationing at or maybe I'm at a car show or something like that. And I've got, I'm going to be making two or three videos here in the next, I don't know, month or two. And they're going to blow your mind. Okay. Uh, mostly Mopar content. But some of it is not, which is cool too. And I've made some connections with some people. And I'm really, really looking forward to making those videos and putting them out. So, uh, just stay tuned to the channel. Okay? And so, you might ask yourself, hey, wait a minute. I might want to see these videos. How do I, how do, how do I get to know about all that? Well, you got to subscribe. If you subscribe, you go down below and you subscribe. Click that little bell icon thing there. Hey, 
guess what they tell you about it so and just keep checking back to the channel too because more stuff like this like the 360 more stuff like oh well like that car show I went to earlier this year more stuff like that will be happening it's summertime lots of car shows going on so you know all right thank you very much for watching i really seriously appreciate everything you all are doing uh for clicking that subscribe button and i just really appreciate it so have a great one god bless and uh we'll see you again